Welcome to the new topic of graphs and networks, which is chapter 9, the last set topic for the academic year. And this will be lesson 1, exercise 9b, what is a graph? And the learning goal for this one is to look into the definitions and properties of graph. And the success criteria is to determine how many edges and vertices a graph has, to determine the degree of a vertex, and to create a graph from a map. Now, with all set content with new work, um, the, the start of it is considered quite simple. Uh, but there's quite a, a bit of definitions and set uh, notations that we have to get used to. So graph, this chapter and topic uses a specialized mathematical sense of the word graph as opposed to its everyday use in statistics, science and other contexts. What this means is that we're used to something that looks like this, where there's a y axis of some sort and an x axis of some sort and you create a line that goes like that or a parabola or a curve that looks like this and there are numbers or some type of context maybe it's time versus population of some sort and this is the traditional sense of a graph we're graphing it we're modeling it but when we use the word graph in the context of graphs and networks we don't see any of this we didn't see any of this type of um, type of graph we see something different so we have seen these types of graphs before when we studied matrices uh, it should say semester two because we changed the order of this um, but the previous topic we've seen what a graph looks like and we've represented a graph through a matrix we're just gonna delve in and focus on that so let's look at the definitions the first one is that a graph is a diagram that consists of set points which are called vertices so they're called vertices so a dot or a point they're called vertices and they are joined by a set of lines that are called edges and each edge joins two vertices unless it's a loop which we'll get to in a second uh, each edge will join two vertices so here well, let's look at this example uh, this is just a random graph of some sort where we can see some dots which are considered vertices and we've got some edges that go along now there's different uh, circumstances uh, that are put into play depending on how you create this edge. Uh, before we get to that, that uh, the degree or the order of a vertex is the number of edges attached to that vertex itself. The degree of a vertex is donated, donated, denoted, donated, denoted rather, there we go, by DEG, DEG, and then whatever the um, vertice is, usually will have a name. Uh, either a letter of some sort, sometimes you can have an, a whole name or a letter, but to get the degree of it, we're just trying to determine how many edges will connect to it. So in this case here, let's look at this, this vertice. This has two lines attached to it. I always think of, of how many lines go to that point. So in this case here, the degree of this one is two, because there are two lines going directly to it. With this vertex here, They've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four. So the degree of this vertex is four. And then we get to a unique scenario where we have a loop, which is can be denoted by this vertex here. So a loop is an edge in a graph that joins a vertex to the, the actual vertex itself. Uh, joins a vertex in a, uh, in a graph to itself. So a loop contributes two degrees to a vertex because a loop is attached to its vertex at both ends. So in other words, we've got a line going to that vertex and we've got the same line going to the same vertex. So this degree here is two. So you show degree is equal to two. Uh, two or more edges that connect the same vertices are called multiple or parallel edges. Now this just fact is here to be important when referring to certain graphs, but it's not widely used, especially, well, in, not in year 11 general math anyways, but it's good to know that handy fact. So in any graph, the sum of degrees of the vertices is equal to twice the number of edges. So the sum of degrees, the sum of the degrees of the vertices is equal to twice the number of edges. So if we were to get how many, um, we were to get how many ways there are to get to each vertex, so get its degree, 
um, and we sum this all up, it should be twice the number of edges that we can see within the graph itself. And remember, an edge, edge is just uh, one of those lines. Okay, so a loop, the degree of the vertex for the loop is two, but the actual edge itself, this is just considered as one. This is one edge, this is one edge, this is one edge, this is one edge. All right, let's use what we do know in order to answer the following questions. So you're going to use a graph below to find A, the number of edges. Well, the number of edges, one, two, three, four, five. We have five edges for this one. Simple. For B, the number of vertices. So the number of vertices, one, two, three, four, five. Now, despite that this vertex here is by itself, it's still deemed a vertex, even though it's not connected by any edge of any sort, it's still deemed an important feature for this graph, or else a person um, wouldn't have put it in there. So in this case here, there are five vertices. For C, the degree of each vertex. So the degree of each vertex, I might put C on the edge here. So C, We've got the uh, vertex, and then we've got the degree. And let's figure out how many um, are there. There's A, B, C, D, E. And we might even do a total as well. So the degree of A, well, there's only one going to A. So there's one. For B, we've got this loop, so that counts as two. And then we've got another one here going into B, so that's a 3. For C, because it's by itself, that's a 0. For D, we've got 2. And for E, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. This total, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And just to double check, the amount of vertices there are, are 5. So we sum this. The sum of the degrees of the vertices is equal to twice the number of edges. Well, that's twice the number of edges. 10 is twice of 5, or 2 lots of 5. All right, so C, we'll put here, we'll make this D now. For D, sum of the degrees of all the vertices. Well, I've already worked that out. Sum is 10. E, number of odd vertices. Now, number of odd vertices just means that if there is a vertex that has an odd degree, we want to know how many there are. So B is an odd one because there's only three, which is an odd number. A has only got one. So that's just one one uh, edge going to it. So the degree is one, which is an odd number. D is two. E is two. And C is by itself. Technically, C is an even number when it's zero. Um, so we've only got B. A, so there's two vertices. Two vertices. Where F, the number of even, uh, we have got A, we've got E, we've got D, we've got C. So there is um, four vertices. Now, it seems like a kind of a weird question to ask, number of odd and even vertices. Uh, this has to do with if a certain path or trail um, or track can be conducted to get from one point to another without going over the same edge. What this means is that if I were at B, maybe I want to go from B, follow that edge, go to B, then go to E, then go to D, then go back to E, then go to A. I've covered every single track without having to overlap it once. Um, or I overlap it twice, sorry. And this is based on the fact that because there are two odd vertices, which we figured out, this can be done. Um, if there's only one odd vertice or a different amount of odd vertices, um, this can't be completed. And we'll look into this later on. For now, uh, this is going to be deemed an important feature for later on. Okay. With question two, the map, this map right here. The map sh below shows the road connections between three towns, town P, Q, and R. The graph that could be used to model these road connections is what? Now, a lot of people look at this and they think, 
Um, yeah, this is pretty easy. Oh, I can do this. There's actually quite a lot of information that has been put into play without even realizing this. So it seems like that the question is pretty obvious, or the answer is pretty obvious, but really it's not. So, what I do know is that there are three towns. P, Q, and R. And let's just put these towns where they are spaced down. Now, what this is saying is that if I want to go from P to Q, there's one way to get from P to Q up the top here. So we'll draw a line that goes from P to Q. Now, is there another way to get to P to Q without going to R? If we go down here and then, yeah, there is, there's another way. So we can draw not only one edge, but two edges that go from P to Q. There's no other way to get to Q without bypassing R, so we'll just leave that. All right, what about from P to R? There are it's one way. We can go from there, so we'll just dictate by one way. That was terrible. Let's try that again. There we go. And so we can go this way, and we can also go around here and through that way. So there's another way to go from P to R. All right. How about from R to Q? How many ways are there to get from R to Q? Well, there's from this way through here. You got R to Q like this. So R to Q like that. We can go up, then decide to go down, and then go around like that. So there's another way to get from R to Q. Now, hmm. We also got to check to see if there's any loops of some sort. Can we go from a town to that same town again without bypassing another town? We can't go from P to P uh, to from P to itself again without bypassing another town whether it's R or Q, so that can't be done. So there's no loop to P. Same thing for Q, we can't do that. But there is a loop for R. We can go up this way and then head back down and go back to R. So R technically has a loop and then from this that mimics this one here so it has to be C so a lot of people when they first look at this example they think oh yeah this is easy it kind of looks like a there's a link to R, and then another link to R, and then a P and a Q, yeah I think so. but it's not it's not the case in this case it is C all right and that concludes this lesson for the definitions and what a graph is go ahead and check your log sheet see which questions you need to do, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.